Good morning. It is bright and early. Key emphasis on um, the bright part. But today marks the beginning of one of Grant and I's favorite seasons. It's pivot servicing season. stop is to get some Mountain Dew kickstarts. I know Grant said and I said we gave these up but not not for, not for pivot servicing. Okay so yeah like I said Grant and I kind of gave up caffeine for a while but it's pivot servicing it's season. Pivot servicing. Planting season. Exactly okay. and like you just can't survive these seasons without just a little extra cake. You know this is what every tower along the pivot keep going you're like I'll just get this tower done and then I can have a sip of Black Tree Kickstart. <laughs> so cold and refreshing. My, my personal favorite is the fruit punch. Wow, they updated the cans. I know, we it's haven't had so it in so long. Also, okay, so we got these Kickstarts from the Henderson gas station. Did a guy that recognized us in there? Hi, thanks for watching. <laughs> there was approximately 35 to 45 mile an hour winds on the day that we serviced these pivots. And so the audio did not turn out great. So I will be doing voice over this video. So don't, don't laugh at me guys, okay, bear with me. So we're at this first tower here. We're going to knock off some of the dirt around it. Watch out for these little holes. Mice like to hide in these holes. Here's our setup here. We got an air compressor, air hose. We got oil, we got grease. We got all sorts of lines. Grant was taking the air checker from my hand. Uh, extra tools, spare parts. We actually put Grant's entire toolbox in here just so we have everything we need um, and we feature some nice stickers. So all the stickers we've been getting in the mail, we're going to start putting those up there. Grease gun, jack stand, all that good stuff. Yeah, very windy, so I fashioned this little tie to keep my hood on so it wouldn't blow off. Very fashionable. Anyways, like I was saying, so we knock all the dirt off and then Grant is just going to take his little impact here and screw off the top of this gearbox. This gearbox is filled with oil um, and this is has all the little gears in it and this is what makes the tires move on the pivot. Oh, this one was a little bit tougher to get off. Wait for it and here we go. We're just checking to see if it's full and yes, it is full. There we go, so now he can just screw that back on. Now that that's screwed back on, secured nice and tight, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other gearbox and then also to the center drive in the middle. Now you're going to watch me very quickly change a tube of grease and I get some grease on my fingers which make them feel really sticky and kind of gross. We go through a lot of paper towels while we're pivot servicing. Um, but another thing we have to do while we're servicing pivots is go to the center point which is where the entire pivot revolves around and give it a lot of grease. So once I change this tube, I'll be crawling up there. I'm just going to crawl on top. This was kind of scary because it was so, so windy. Um, but I had Grant film so I could have both hands to grease the center point here. I was struck with a casualty of pivot servicing. Um, sometimes when we're checking gearboxes, we take these drain plugs out of the top and gear oil just kind of explodes all over your hand. It's pretty disgusting, but that happens because there's water in the bottom of it. Um, and that's why we service pivots in the first place, to find problems like this. So um, that's another thing that we do to all the gearboxes is drain all of the water and condensation that got in there over the winter time. I got schmooed though.
I wanted to film this drain plug because I knew there was going to be water coming out of it. Uh, this gearbox had a lot more water in it than um, is usually in there. So much came out, we knew that we were going to have to use a lot of gear oil to refill this. But luckily, we have a ton of supplies in our truck, so we're all good. Just found a, a gearbox that had a little mousy running around. And so when that happens, I throw my ratchet at it and like the gearbox to try and scare it away. Then I run away, usually with some tears in my eyes um, because mice are like one of my greatest fears in life. And uh, Grant takes care of that one for me. I just cozy up in the truck and hope that mice can't get in here. Grant, what happens when I see a mouse? Tears. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Very scared. <laughs> well, it's 10.30 and we've decided that that is our unofficial first lunch. So I got some meat sticks. And we have some peanut butter and jellies, and they're made with Grant's mom's black raspberry jelly, which is actually the best I've ever tasted in my life, and crunchy peanut butter, because crunchy is superior to smooth. Quick stop at the local bar to get a little second lunch. Usually on each tower we have to check tire pressure. We have an air compressor to fill them up in case they're low, but not on these ones. These ones are metal. And yet another thing we do when we service pivots is I climb up on top of this tower here and I'm going to use a screwdriver to free up a freeze plug. Um, this is what drains the water out of the pivot span when there's no longer pressure holding it up. So I just take that off, make sure no like rocks or sand or rust is collected in there, make sure the little rubber stopper is still in there. And once I'm all good, I'll show and grant that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Once we're all good, I just screw it back in. weather-wise. Um, uh, pretty cold for spring, at least it feels pretty cold. Okay, it's super windy outside, which makes pit work not very fun. So we got this morning, check engine oil level. So we popped the hood, luckily, we're carrying oil right there. So we're just gonna pull this sucker around. Yo. Hmm. 85 140. To the rescue. Here you 
you go, Grant. Got seven pivots done. But it's, it's cold, it's windy. We're just gonna call it a day and run errands. So, okay, something very unfortunate happened. This is not our geo tracker, okay? Just a little disclaimer. This is a geo tracker that we're looking at purely for the motor here. Oh, it's the right motor. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, Grant, you want to tell our YouTube family what happened to our beautiful, lovely geo tracker? Uh, it needs a new motor. The uh, end of the crank spun off. Yeah. So, so okay, end of the crank sp spun off. So we're looking for a new motor here, but <laughs> look at the roof. But wow, that is just that's beautiful. Okay, so do you remember when I said that uh, we were running errands? I really meant we were just going to neighbors' places and looking at their stuff. <laughs> Dude, check out this manure spreader. This is what I'm talking about, you guys. I like seeing stuff like this. I'm gonna go for a little ride here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here's a quick look at the inside here. Very nice. We're just taking it on a little sunset drive. What a beast! 